resuming from there, um, the multiplying the matrices part. When we're trying to find the solutions, the only two places in our total system matrix that we care about, about are the bottom row, because this one will let us figure out the image distance, and then we can use that image distance to figure out the magnification. Um, so let's review how to, you, how to multiply two matrices. When you have two two by two matrices like these multiplying together, you're going to get a two by two matrix out of it. The way to multiply to figure out any particular spot, so if I want, for example, the upper left, I take the upper row of my first matrix, the one and the zero, and I tilt that or uh, transcribe it into vertical and I multiply it by these two. So the one by this one the zero by this, and then I add the two together. So I take the upper left. When I want the lower left, I take the lower part of the first matrix, multiply it by the left column of the second matrix. So for this one, I get the di times the negative 1.98. Plus one times the 0.64. When I want the lower right, which will help me find magnification, I take the lower of my first and multiply it by the two on the right of the second matrix and then add them together. So that'd be negative 2.8 times the di plus one times 0 0.4. Okay, and then that hand waving math stuff uh, with matrices means that this first term must equal zero for the matrix map to work. So we can rearrange that and solve it. Negative 1.98 times di plus 0 0.64 equal to zero. Uh, di, I'm going to subtract 0 0.64 from both sides and then divide by, so that's negative, and then divide by negative 1.98 to get just the di. That's uh, 0 0.32. 0.32, and this is an uh, image distance. What units would be with it? Okay. And we'll come back to that in just a second. Um, well, we might as well talk about it now. Uh, 0.32 meters. Let's look at what that means up above. We'll come back to this in a second. So that's this distance. So somewhere out here, 0 0.32 meters is our uh, image. Probably inverted. We can figure that out in just a little bit. Um, I guess I don't know for sure, but probably not. What can we say about that image? Is that a real or a virtual image? How do you, well, okay, I said one person real, one person virtual. How do we know if it's real or virtual? It's where the image forms. And so if it's a real image, what has to be true about where the image forms? No, not necessarily. Past the lens past the lens. It has to form where the light would actually be traveling. And since, as we know, light always travels from left to right, and it's, that's just a convention. But if, if it's over on the right of these, then, it's, then it is actually meeting there. So this is a real image. We can't tell yet about, for sure about if it's inverted or if it's magnified or demagnified, but we will figure that out shortly. Okay, so that's this part. This term, is equal to the magnification. And we now know the di to put in there. So our magnification is negative 2.8 times 0 0.32 plus 0 0.4. Um, getting negative 0.496. What does this mean for our image? It's smaller, how do you know? Because it's less than one. It's less than one. This magnification is about, so it's about half the size. Inverted. How do you know it's inverted? It's 
because it's negative. So my drawing here was reasonably close, although probably too tall. Because if I if it were half of this, it would probably be about like that. Um, I'm also guessing on the location. I didn't measure that out. And I so 0.5 from this. Yeah, it's right around there because this was a 0.5 meter focal length. So right around there and about that size. But we ray tracing this would be very tough. We could certainly see how they would bend. This would bend towards that focal point, but then it would likely bend even more, but we're coming in at a funny angle. Yeah. So ray tracing is very tough. Calculating with the Finland equation is probably also impossible. So we fall back on something like this. Today, any questions on the, the wrap up of that example? It'll take some practice, I think, and that's fair. Um, today, we're going to be working then on the homework, the last homework of this chapter, 10.5, um, the matrix refracted. Very clever. And um, that starts out with similar problem to this, and then, uh, but makes has you make slight changes. Um, and then kind of builds up step by step. So first thing is I suggest drawing it out so, and then label, okay, I've got a translation here, I've got a refraction here, and then put them together in the matrices like we did. Multiplying together this bit on your calculator and then the last portion, again, we, all we really need are the bottom, is a bottom row to solve these things. Um, note that not all of these in the, on the worksheet are in air. So you do have to pay attention when we've got the sections or the translations matrices. This won't always be over one and neither will those. Depends on the substance that it's going through.